X-ray fluorescence measuring instruments are optimized for fast, cost-effective and non-destructive analysis of jewelry, coins and precious metals. Let's start with our tutorial for working of Goldscope SD510 starting with switching machine on. Put on the main power switch placed at the left side of the machine and press the power on button located at the front panel. Rotate the key in a clockwise direction to start the X-ray. Start the CPU to turn your PC on. Double click the WinFTM software to initiate the Goldscope software. Moving on to WinFTM software where we will cover the warm up procedure and reference measurement. Press OK to open WinFTM software. Rotate the side knob to clear and sharpen the picture of the sample placed. For the warm-up process locate the silver element in the pure element set, and place it at the sample placing area. Single click on the spectrum icon to enter the warm-up mode. Click on the green running person icon at the left bottom of the machine and leave it for a minimum of 500 seconds. Stop the process by clicking the red running person icon and exit. Go back to the main menu for reference measurement and other measurements by clicking on back icon second from right on top icon panel. This process needs to be done every morning before start using the machine. For reference measurement, go the general tab second from right tab and select the reference measurement option. Place silver from the pure element set, at the sample placement area. Click the Start Reference tab to initiate the process for 100 seconds. After 100 seconds, a pop-up to place copper will be notified. Now place copper from the pure element set at the sample placement area. On completion, press the OK tab to accept the reference measurement. Let us understand how should we do the precious metal analysis with Fisher Gold Testing Machine. Take a gold ring and mark various spots on rings to do the analysis. Place the ring on the sample placement area and sharpen the image accordingly by rotating the side knob. Close the machine lid, select the appropriate application from the shortcut icons and press the start button to start the measurement. After 30 seconds of measurement you will get result from the first measuring spot. 
Any jewelry ornament needs to be checked at multiple spots and then take an average of all the readings to understand the estimate of the jewelry ornament. Now change the measuring spot to some other part of jewelry and start the measurement again for 30 seconds. Take the third spot at other end of the jewelry and start measuring in the same block. Now take a solder area for measurement and keep the sample for 30 seconds. The solder area in a jewelry can show a different reading than other spot results, and hence it's important to take an average of the reading to reach a conclusion. Now we take the final measurement result in the bottom of the ring. After taking multiple measurements, go through each results and click on the block to get the mean, standard deviation, coefficient of variance and other informations. In this way, you will get a proper result for all the ornaments especially in case of non-homogeneous samples. To get a detailed report, click on the print icon, fourth from the left top of icon sets. A customer can print the report as it is or they can also customize the report format according to their company information. You can view all your measurement results, block result, and other analysis factors. The product image is also shown to provide you details of the sample placed. Click on the back icon to return to the main view. Click the info icon on the top right to view or change measurement, time unit, and other information. You can also change the measurement time, number of measurements according to your application. You may see the analysis results in various units such as percentage, carat etc. Now take a gold chain and place it in the machine. After one measurement result, change the spot area to some other part of the chain and start the measurement again.
Similarly, a silver sample can also be tested by simply placing sample and selecting the silver application from shortcut icons. Light intensity can also be optimized to get the sharp images by clicking small icon on the left bottom of image. Various shortcuts for the application are provided such as fine gold, silver, platinum for easy and fast measurement. Ensure that you complete all the pre-installation procedures such as placing a UPS machine, isolation transformer, providing an air-conditioned environment for the working of the machine and ensuring perfect earthing conditions of the place where the machine is installed. You may place a desktop or laptop on top of the machine to save space but avoid placing anything apart from it. You may clean the outer surface of the machine with a dry cloth but don't try to clean the inner part yourself. Always ask for your nearest Fisher representative or a service engineer to clean the inner part of the machine. Also, ask the Fisher service engineer in case if any jewelry item gets stuck into the machine. Never try to remove it yourself, it might damage machine parts. Fisher Gold Testing Machine has got various applications, such as analysis of jewelry, precious metals, dental alloys, yellow and white gold, platinum and silver, rhodium, alloys and coatings. Fisher Gold Testing Machines are widely being used in the field of jewelry retail stores, banks, gold exchange and pawn shops. Close the software by clicking the cross button on the right top of the WinFTM software. Close the key by rotating it anti-clockwise, you will see the red light in front going off. Now press the power button located at the front manual and switch off the left switch followed by shutting down the computer. Thank you for watching the video, for more details connect with us at www.helmet-fisher.com.